So the next question is asking us, I'm just going to borrow her calculator. Um, what is the total distance traveled, right? And the first five seconds. So basically, guys, the best way to like easily recognize this is say, all right, well, we have s of 0, and we have s of 5. right? s represents the position, right? and 0 and 5 represents the distance. Now, what we found is the velocity in previous, we took the velocity, set equal to 0, we had to graph it, use our graph calculators, and we found two, part, two times where the particle was at rest, potentially changing directions. So that's important, because if we're going to the left and then going to the right, we got to be able to calculate those absolute value distances. So there's two points that are important to us. I'm going to label them S and A and, less and S of T because what? I defined what A and B are. Sorry, S of B. I defined what A and B are. Okay? As long as you define them, you can use them. If you don't define them, please do not use them. Then in the previous question, we even helped you guys out. I even gave you guys what those values were, or we figured out what those values were, right? So the position here for S of A was um, 2.14 feet. Actually, you know what? Let me see. Um, did you get those two? I'm using your calculator, Sydney. OK. Now, hold on, let me. Uh, I want to show you guys, when we're using our calculator, my bag is just getting beat up today. All right. Here, I'll give you your calculator back. Because what I want to show you guys is, when we found those positions, let's store that value. Let's not, we don't want to get caught up on um, rounding our answers. Okay. So when you guys get that new position, like when we did y2 and we got uh, y sub, um, come on, now you want to be slow? When we did y sub 2, what we want to do is store that as a value. And then when we do y sub 3, we want to figure out a value. Now actually, while we have a little bit of time while I'm waiting on this, because this is taking forever. Can we figure out what s of 0 is? What is the position at s of 0? Well, if you plug in 0 into the position function, so be careful. It's a very common mistake. Our position is equal to 0. What about when we plug in s of 5? Is that something that's rather simple to do? Did anybody get that? Negative 35? OK. So basically, what the heck is going on? So basically, what we're looking into doing is the total distance traveled is going to be s of a minus s of 0 plus s, the absolute value of s of b minus s of a plus the absolute value of s of 5 minus s of b. Everybody should at least get to that um, expression so that you can at least understand. Because then, if, well, as long as you guys get to at least that expression, then the only mistake that you're going to be making is going to be some kind of arithmetic mistake um, being in there. Oh, it's open. I'm the idiot. OK, let's go back. All right, so let's figure out what is um, let's figure out what our s of a is. Sorry, I'll be I'll be moving that back in there for you, Sydney. So we figured out s of a. Now again, when we're typing this in, guys, what I did was I did y two of a, right? That was evaluating for y two of a. So if I just hit second entry again. Oh, actually, let's second entry, enter. Now, let's store that value. I should have just seen it. Let's store that value as, um, as D. That's Y B. So I'm going to store that as B. So I'm going to hit store alpha D. 
And then I'm going to do second entry. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Y2 of alpha A. Um, enter that. And then let's store that as alpha C. There you go. Okay. So now what you guys have is alpha A minus alpha C. Well, guys, what's A minus C? That's really just going to be A, right? Right, which is 2.71, whatever it may be, correct? Minus 0 plus S of B minus S of A. So really what that was was the absolute value of C minus D, right? Or D minus C. It doesn't really matter. You're just going to use the absolute value. So what I'll do in my calculator is I'll just do alpha um, D minus alpha C. And I just do the absolute value of that, which is 37.47 plus S of 5, which is negative 35 minus um, S of B. So I'll just take negative 35 minus S of B, which we stored in as D. So that will be alpha D. And I'm getting 0 0.332. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't want to. 0 0.332, 015764. I should have done something else. I'm sorry about this. Since we're going to be adding all these together, it might even be helpful just to, you, when you guys are rounding, you don't want to round to the very end, right? You don't want to round any numbers. Does everybody agree with me? Don't want to round at all, because you can just be up by one decimal place. So when I did alpha D minus C, I could have just gone up there and let's store that as alpha E. Now, you're probably going to forget all, everything you're doing. So I'll just write on the side, E equals D minus C, absolute value of that. Oh, shoot. But remember, it's the absolute value of that. So therefore, you can just do alpha D minus alpha C. Just times that by negative 1. There you go. Let's store that. Store that as alpha E. OK, so really, that is alpha E. Therefore, I have here is alpha A. And then when I did this problem, S of 5 minus um, 30 S of B, which was up here. Let's store that, store as alpha f. And then we could say that is stored as f. So now, and again, once you guys get practice, this is really just quick stuff. Now all I got to do to end my thing is just add all those up. Alpha a plus alpha e plus alpha f. And I get the total distance traveled is 38.369. We can go ahead and round to at least three different decimal places. But notice, guys, I did not do any rounding. I did not do any rounding up until the last point. Everything that I found, I stored as different letters. And I used those letters to think. And then just remember, when you, if you're going to be using letters, just make sure you um, just make sure you define what those letters represent. Okay. So you you know each one of these expressions you write that as five, and then this is obviously a function in f, in feet, I believe. Now, what is the total displacement? That is just going to be where you end up from where you started, right? So total displacement is just s of five minus s of 0. So what was negative 35 minus 0? Right? So that's going to be equal to negative 35 
feet. Or what, what does negative 35 feet mean in terms of like left or right? Left. 35 feet left, right? Um, we didn't really talk about what this particle is doing. Or you could say 35 feet like below, right, or down or something like that. Does that make sense? So a lot of times if, if it's in 